Tell me more about the patterns in the peer governance of commons. Peer governance is not just a committee or improvisation. It's about having enough formal structures in law, organization, and finance that can be managed by everyone, but also enough open space for individual creativity, deliberation, and action to flourish. So a special culture and ethic has to be cultivated, along with the social practices for meeting needs. Commoning is really an art form. By working to bring diversity into shared purpose, and ensuring that there's transparent dealings among people in a sphere of trust. By assuring that everyone can participate and give their consent to decisions, a commons can develop really effective forms of peer governance. They can minimize the abuses of power that come from centralized administrative systems, and they can empower everyone to play meaningful roles in governance. They can protect against market takeovers of our shared wealth. So as you can see, this is a far cry from the so-called tragedy of the commons. With the right governance, provisioning practices, and social life, a commons is highly creative and generative. Interesting. I'll share it. <laughs>